Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to actually create a map in Doom Builder now. And So what you'll want to do is go to File and then New Map, or alternatively you can click the New Map button there. So let's go ahead and do that. And it will ask you which game you want to create a map for. And you can choose Doom, Doom 2, um, Ultimate Doom, whichever. So to um, keep things simple, let's just go ahead and start with Doom and now this is where it can get a little tricky for beginners where it says level name you actually don't want to put anything custom in there and uh, to start off and you're actually going to use the map names according to what the game has and to better explain this the um, for in, in the first doom it's E1 M1 all the way through E4 M9 and so there's E1 through E1 M1 and the last level of episode 1 is episode 1 uh, level 9 so it's E1 M9 and so you have to kind of get used to how that works and there in the original Doom there are three episodes so you could choose like for example E1 M1 all the way through E1 M9 E1 or E2 M1 all the way through E2 M9 and so on so for map 1 it would be E1 which stands for episode 1 and M1 which you could say stands for mission 1 so let's go ahead and try that and also before I want before I do that I want to go ahead and also talk about Doom 2 real quick and Doom 2 is a, a lot easier to understand it's simply map 01 through map 32 so it's just map 01 through map 32 so you could have map 01 map 02 map 03 and you can go all the way up to 32 so anyways let's go back to Doom and let's go to E1 M1 so we'll be making a map for the very first level and right here I do this just to be sure just to be safe it says additional textures and flats from what file and um, just to be safe I select the original Doom mod for that and like for example if you were if you were making a map for Doom 2 when you went to that you would choose the Doom 2 WAD file and this just takes textures and such from that WAD file and this is a, isn't something you have to do all the time as far as I know but I do it just to be safe to make sure that the textures and everything are included so once you get those set up go ahead and click OK and you'll be presented here with a, a grid basically with nothing on it and this is where you'll begin and before we start out I want to show you the uh, the different modes you can go in the first one by default is line mode this is where you basically create lines and you can make lines anything from a wall to a trigger or anything like that and then there's sector mode and sectors are made up of, of um, basically lines that are connected with one another and they can range anything from like a triangle to a square to a octagon you know, they can it uh, they can be very complex shapes and so you'll go into sector mode and you can go go into that when you have sectors to mess around with another thing is thing mode and a, a, a better name for it would probably be item mode or or a, any something like that but when you go into thing mode it will actually allow you to create like for example um, um, your player start points um, your monsters your weapons your items your pickups everything like that and um, and when you select um, different modes down here at the bottom it will actually show you uh, which mode you're selecting so let's go ahead and since it's a default start out with line mode and let's go ahead and what I want you to do is go down here to the grid and um, anywhere where you see these lines intersecting just double click and you'll create a point there and once you do that drag your mouse and it will start um, to drag that line out and let's go ahead and bring it down to where it says the length of is about 320 like I have there and click now it's created that line and once you click your it'll start another line there at that point so drag that new line out to where it says 512 is the length so 512 click drag up and make another line length of 320 click and drag it back over and when you connect it to this line to create a square it should be the length of it should stay at 512 just like the one down here so once you've got these uh, selected here um, what you'll want to do is just click each line 
as you click them one time they'll be highlighted in red and that'll mean that they're selected if you ever want to deselect them just find an empty spot left click and they'll be unselected so go ahead and just click on four of the lines there one time and once they're all selected highlight one of those lines and right click and that this will be editing the properties of all of those lines so what you want to do is click the side devs tab, tab and once this comes up it'll show you the front side and this is editing basically the side where that little peg is facing and so where it says Ashwall 2 there that's actually a Doom 2 texture I believe so that's why it's showing unknown texture there so just click there and you'll see where it'll bring up the textures if it if it's not bringing those up you may have to press the tab key to bring those up so if it's not showing those press tab sometimes it will do that so for Doom 1 let's go ahead and we'll stay simple let's not try and get too detailed just yet so um, let's select brown 96 for the texture so click that and click select or um, double click it and it should be selected there now you'll see where it says brown 96 and it'll show the little texture click OK and when you highlight the lines notice how notice how down at the bottom now you'll see where it says brown 96 while you're highlighting them see that so that's a pretty good way you can highlight the lines and actually see what the texture shows for the wall and that's essentially what that is it's just a wall texture and what you want to do now to edit the floor and the ceiling is to go into sector mode and you can click the sector button right there or you can also press S and once you press that notice that when you highlight the sector created by that square that you've created with those lines instead of you having to click on all four of those lines it's just a single like a single entity and you can actually hold right click and move that entity around and um, what you want to do now is right click the right click the sector it'll bring up the sector properties and you can see there the ceiling texture and uh, and then here's the floor texture you can actually change these notice how it's not showing all the textures like I mentioned earlier press tab like right here and it should show all those so if it if that ever happens just press tab and the reason it doesn't show all the textures when you first pull that up is just because it shows the only ones that you've used so but now what I want to do for you is show you one of the better features of this editor and that is the 3D mode and and um, what you want to do before you can actually go into it is create another sector so what I want you to do now is press L to go into line mode or you can click the line mode button and I'm in line mode now so once you get into that somewhere within this square I want you to double click and create just a small box so double click to place and click um, afterwards to create consecutive points and once you've created that square there what I want you to do is press the W key and that will bring up the 3D editor 3D mode and now that we're in here what you what you'll need to do is you can use the E S D and F keys to uh, to move you around and um, you can actually move around and it's kind of hard to see here but but um, you can kind of move around here in the editor and and uh, what I would recommend here is once you get in there and move to it and into your room hold down control the hold down the control key and scroll the mouse wheel upwards notice how the room's getting brighter you can use that to control the brightness once the brightness is set to a, a decent value, three, 200 is probably too, too bright, but that's okay. And you'll notice here, since that's another sector, um, we'll probably need to change that also. So point to it, hold control, scroll your mouse wheel, let's make it 208 as well, just to match up, see. And um, once that's, we'll actually go back to that and make it 176, just so you can, just so you can, uh, tell it from the other ones once you do that I want you to point at that square there and without holding CTRL I want you to move the mouse wheel downwards and see what that does that's actually moved it downwards there for the ceiling just leave it the same you can do it with the ceiling 